Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I am at Jack Sizemore's RV Museum on Route 66, which is also Interstate 27. And I think there are only two RV museums in the whole country. One is in Elkhart, Indiana, which is the RV center of the world, pretty much. And the other one is here in Amarillo, Texas. So I'm going to walk through and show you what they have here. Wow, this is where people are from who have come here. Not only from the United States, but look at this. All over the world, people have come to see this museum. 1973 Tolo. And it looks like it is just brand new. The sofa's in front. Kitchenette and bathroom and another sofa and I'm sure these are sofa beds because there is no other bed in it. This is what you call a pop-up camper. The 66 nice cozy little single room and bathroom you can read all about these units. One of the early Class A's. 55 Airstream, and you know they still make these things. They have been very popular over the years. And all of them are silver. You'll never see one painted, I don't think. And Airstreams never have slide outs. They're all one solid unit. Each one of these has a story behind it small camper. This is one of the smallest Airstreams in 1962. You might remember seeing in movies these Volkswagen bus campers, buses that uh, they turned into campers. They also have quite a few motorcycles here that they have beautifully restored. There are motorcycles all over the place here. Nineteen forty-one West Craft Trailer. All of these old models have been beautifully restored. Wow, here's a nineteen thirty-six little thing. Thirty-seven Cozy Camp Kit Trailer. This is an old Ford that was converted into a camper. It just has beds in it. And this pop out for sleeping. We got a 63 Chris Craft boat towed by a, you put your motorbike and the bed. You rarely see these, a bull taco. And look, they have an a and w soda fountain. Wow, look at that. The world's first Airstream 1935. The doors are locked, but we can look in the window. This is an early model bus. There are a lot of businesses around the country that take any kind of a bus and convert it to a motorhome. Behind these curtains is a storage area. My motorhome is a 2017 Atasca Soleil. And this is the very first Atasca they ever made in 1975. Let's look inside. Some interesting upholstery. There's the captain's seat, sofa, kitchenette, refrigerator, and bathroom. Well, even this first model had an overhead air conditioner and storage cabinets along the ceiling. 
but this one did not have a slide out. It does, however, have a really large built-in awning. This calls it a pickup camper, which is similar in design to the fifth wheels they have today. And the entrance is in the rear. Whoa, this is a small, cozy thing. The bed is up there. Storage, refrigerator. And that's about it. Oh, we do have a bathroom. Which is a combination toilet and shower. And they still make them like this in some models. The 73 Winnebago Brave. And you know, they still make these Brave models today. Let's go inside. Look at the driving passenger area. Oh, look, the bathroom is way up front. That's unusual. Sink and cooktop and refrigerator. Dinette. And the bed. And they've got two closets for your clothes. You even have one of the old wooden phone booths. And a Coca-Cola machine. You can buy a soda pot for 10 cents. This is a recreation of a gas station. And a drink cooler. Oil pump. Look at that old cash register and a payphone. Snap on tools. There's a car getting gas and somebody is checking the oil for you. Remember those days? Oh look, here's one of those old uh, early attempt at an air conditioner. And that car is pulling a 46 teardrop. Look how short that thing is. Let's look at the rear. Oh look, the back end of the teardrop has kitchen. To do your outdoor cooking. Neat. If it's not raining. We have some little models on display. We have a collection of old water jugs and cameras and a Winnebago model in the end. Some old lanterns and things behind the glass. There's an old Schwinn Black Phantom. Here's a 1919 Harley Davidson bicycle. They even made bicycles back in those days. And that's about it. Good day, folks.